Hello Eric, everyone. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about forms in the play framework. Uh, the thing is, yeah, I'm starting with very simple forms and I do not have that much time to actually like write it all again. Um, so what you basically have to do to um, use forms in play framework you first have to define a model. I will show you. I'll make like a little user model, like in the example on the Play Framework website. Um, our user model has only two attributes, very, very simple. Um, a username and a password. Um, they're both strings, so we do not even have to check them. Maybe I'll continue with um, form validation the next time, but first we have to do a, like a really pretty simple form. Um, so what we need to, to do is first have our user Java, uh, like a little model. Um, and also um, we have to prepare a controller for that. I will go over the controller a little bit. So what you have to do first, you have to generate this. So this means actually like this one um, uses your user form for like a map. And the map is actually what is transmitted with the post later on um, when we send our little form um, over the play framework. So um, we have a little index side and our, this one, this little index side will um, generate our first form and I'll show you. So this goes with index render and transmits our user form um, with the user class. So um, inside there, I will show you. Inside there, there's a very, very simple form. And you can see at, a, at the top that we, the only parameter given is our little user form. Um, so the next thing what we have to do, we use these helpers this helps us to generate our form. So this will actually generate HTML um, tags um, or, and formats for you. So I have included both of them here at the beginning. If you only do it, uh, if you do it without the bootstrap helper, because I have included bootstrap, your form will look like that. Very, very basic. There's nothing special. Um, it just is a different format. I will show you in the, in the, how it looks like. So this is like different labels. You can see this here. This is generated through the form helper. So if you use, for example, the, the other one, the, the Twitter bootstrap helper, the, the source code will look a little bit different. I will show you. So this is now bootstrap-like with diffs and spawns and, and so on. This is a little bit more consistent what I'm doing, so I'm using this one. Um, so the next thing, what we have inside here, is we use our little helper for also for rendering um, these attributes. Um, here the username and our password. So you can actually directly access your model throughout these helpers. The only thing what you really have to write in HTML is this little send button at the bottom. I will just maybe show you if I do not have this inside, what's only generated um, by the helper itself. I will show you that. So this is like the basic basic HTML, it only generates um, a method, a post method, a forum tag, and that's it. Um, also, this one is optional, the, um, the ID form, so you can actually like access the directly the form with a CSS or whatever. So this parameter is um, optional. So um, the next thing is, so our button gets sent, and I will show you in the roots config file. Um, so this is processed by the submit 
in our um, controller. Um, I can show you. Yes, this is my root file, root application submit. Roots applic application submit. So, um, and in the controller, all you have to do is actually um, find your form. You get your map actually directly um, from the post and you can generate this fill form. And then over this fill form, over this map, you can just generate directly uh, a new user, user object. So, and then you render it. I got it to a little random method here and in the submit HTML, it only displays the two attributes. So we will do that. Um, so we give our little username. Where is my tip? And so, and this gets outputted. So, this was pretty simple, and <clears throat> I didn't write it again because everyone can read this also in the documentation. What you can't read in the documentation, and this is like really a pain, <laughs> is that actually you have to turn off because it gets interfered by Eclipse itself. The play gets a little bit confused. So what you have to do, if you get, it's very funny because you can access the map attributes directly, but um, the, the user object will always be null. If you come to this, um, to this error, what you have to do in Eclipse is you go on the window, preferences and workspace, and you have to turn build automatically off. Do this if you're using Eclipse. Um, either, otherwise, it will drive you mental because you do not know where the, where the errors come from. So this was my first little introduction into forums. And as you can see, um, it's very, very, very simple to generate a form and it's always consistent with your model. So um, you can also define um, your own helpers and stuff and generate all um, error pages, but maybe I'll do this in a later tutorial. This should only cover the very, very, very basics. So um, this is everything for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.